Welcome back, Cameron. A lot of us starting to get the traveling going. What does it look like for us out there? Well, I think it's going to be just ideal, maybe on the gray side, but that's kind of just fine for those heading out for Thanksgiving. It's going to be mostly calm, but we can't rule out a brush of rain and snow at times tonight into tomorrow and a cooler trend going into the weekend. A quick look around the Upper Peninsula, say on College Avenue, mostly calm, temperatures in the high 30s, all the way to the Mackinac Bridge, definitely plenty of people heading out for Thanksgiving. Looking pretty nice, all things considered, just a little bit gray out there. And for the next few hours, definitely anticipate some light snow in the central and western counties tomorrow morning. That could develop into a light mixture at times, say closer to the afternoon. Then lake effect snow initiates just a little bit on the northwest wind belts in the eastern counties tomorrow evening, just around dinner time. Into Friday though, snow really does initiate and it's really on the lighter side. Nothing too heavy, but definitely going to be breezy as we get to Friday and Saturday. And really that wraps up around Friday evening. So for those heading out for Thanksgiving, temperatures will be in the 20s to start off the day. Snow mostly in the central and eastern counties wraps up by the afternoon. Temperatures rise into the 30s for the afternoon. Go right back down to the 20s for tomorrow evening. In terms of that snow, it's really just on the lighter side. And the biggest thing is going to be those winds as they will be around 20 to 30 miles per hour at times and projected snowfall amounts will be highest in the eastern counties. Mostly just between one and three inches, but isolated areas of eastern Alger County could receive just a tiny bit more and around the same in Gogibic County. Once that wraps up, we're going to anticipate cooler temperatures to approach by Saturday and Sunday, allowing for much more below average temperatures for this time of year. And when that colder air moves in, winds pick up as well. Around 30 mile per hour wind gusts at the northwest tomorrow and last into Friday, getting closer to the 40 mile per hour mark in the eastern counties tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow evening, winds still stay the same and last into, to, into Friday morning, around 30 miles per hour at times. The eastern counties will definitely see the highest winds for tomorrow. So. Drive safely out there if you're heading out pretty early in the morning tomorrow. And when that happens, temperatures will dip below average. Say for tomorrow afternoon, temperatures will be in the 20s and some with 30s. Friday morning, temperatures could be in the teens in some areas and doesn't really get much better throughout Fridays. So we only get just below that 30 degree mark in some areas and that cooler air lasts into Saturday and Sunday. But for tonight, temperatures will be in the mid to high 20s. Light breeze, winds will be around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Could gust up as the night progresses, though. Central counties, mostly cloudy skies, mid 20s to mid 30s. Warmest in the southern counties and high 20s to low 30s in the eastern counties. Tomorrow will be a little bit the same, a little bit cooler than we should be. But otherwise, mostly just some light snow in the morning, maybe a light mix. That lake effect snow lasts going into Saturday. Below average temperatures going into the weekends, but otherwise mostly calm. Our next chances of snow really going to move in on Sunday and Monday, Ben, but really isn't looking too bad right now, thankfully. All right, the forecast for Tom Turkey, it's going to be a hot one for him in the oven there. Yeah, probably. All right, thanks, Cameron. Remember on the free